Today, a travesty took place as a biological man beat on a woman in Olympic boxing. I don't understand how we've even gotten to this point. It's irritating, it's upsetting, and you at home should be heartbroken. Ayman Khalif, the biological male, fought Angela Carini earlier today and got a 45-second stoppage in boxing at the Olympics in a sanctioned fight. How? How did this happen? Ayman Khalif has failed gender test in the past and was disqualified from competing at the Amateur Boxing World Championship in 2023. But the Olympic Committee has allowed this person to go forth and compete against women. How are we standing on this? This is completely unfair. It's a disgrace and a shame. The Olympic Committee should be ashamed of themselves. I'm pissed off. You should be pissed off. Today's video, we're going to look at the clip of this absolute atrocity that took place. We're going to check out some other information that has come out about Ayman Khalif. And there's also another biological male competing in boxing tomorrow against a woman. And they're standing on this. The Olympic Committee is okay with it. The Olympic Committee released a statement about promoting mental health and safe spaces for Olympic athletes. Well, let me tell you, there is no mental health in this. It's absolutely mental that a man is competing against women. In boxing, of all of the sports there, I think it's shameful in any sport. But boxing, a combat sport, a dangerous sport, a life-threatening sport where athletes have died. We're going to allow this. Trauma to the brain has happened that has taken lives and a man can fight a woman. And they're standing on this as, it's okay, fairness, inclusion. This is not fair. This is not inclusive. This is a disgrace. And this is an absolute black eye to the Olympics. And anybody who supports this is a shameful individual. You should be ashamed of yourself for you supporting it. I think most of you are not. Let's look at this damn clip. It infuriated me. So the woman who was fighting is a great Italian boxer, okay? Angela Carini, her late father, is who she dedicated this Olympic run to, but got it ripped out of her damn hands by a man who said, I want to compete with the girls. And this is allowed now. This is where we're at. This is allowed now. Girls watching at home, you want to go compete in a sport? Sorry, that guy is taking your place. Oh, but they identify. They're a woman at heart. Well, you know what? You want to dress and act that way in your social life? Fine. No one's telling you not to do that. But when it's about sport, it's a shame because there's obvious advantages and you can't deny them. We'll look at some of those obvious advantages when we look at some biology because, I mean, maybe some people don't know. All right. I'm pissed off. I'm, I'm angry just looking at this. Let's play it. The right hand. So there was a shot before it. A big right hand lands. And Karini's like, what am I doing? Huge shot. Look at the frame difference. Does that look like a woman to you in red? No, it doesn't. In blue, you have a petite woman. You see the breast there. I think Khalif, I would say that's a dude boxing. That's an amateur man going out there and boxing against a girl. What are we doing here? She said, no, it's not fair. And it's absolutely not fair. It's absolutely not fair. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm irritated. This is insane. Look at the right hand that lands. Look at the power on that. Women don't, women don't generate power like that. There's a, a very few. You can see here some more clips from the fight. Huge right hands that caught Karini and had her very hurt early on. If this was outside of the ring, this would be female abuse and Khalif would be put in a jail cell. But instead, it's sanctioned by the Olympics to beat on women now. This is where we're at. And the Italian, Karini, was pissed off. She was heartbroken, as she should be, because her dream was stripped of her. At the what? Sake of inclusiveness? What about the sake of women's sport? What about the sake of equal opportunity for a woman? No, that doesn't exist. That's fine. You're allowed to beat on her. Disgrace. Disgrace. And I see why Karini didn't want to shake Khalif's hand. She's like, nah, I'm good. I'm out of here. This is unfair. Look at the size difference. Look at the back. Look at the shoulder broadness. From the back, it tells all. We know it's a man. We know this is an unfair sport. This is an unfair game now that we're playing. But this isn't uh, tennis. This isn't uh, soccer. This isn't track and field, which those are absolute atrocities too. This is fighting. 
but fighting it's okay now, pulverization, shameful, 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 shameful. It needs to be stopped right away. I'm mad seeing it. Now, what's interesting is the Olympic Committee, this is a video where they talked about mental health and mental well-being of the athletes, and they're here promoting that. We can quickly listen. I got it at 1.5 times speed because I want it to go fast. Did you hear what was just said? Mental health and safeguarding? Is it mentally healthy for a man to fight against a woman? That's safe to you? That's that's okay. That's fine. No, no, no. It's inclusive. We have to let them compete. They deserve a fair shot at sport, but they're competing against women when they are biologically men. Their chromosomes are XY. They have elevated levels of testosterone. There's already evidence of them failing tests in the past, but it's okay. We'll allow it. At the Olympics, we allow things because we're about inclusion. It actually has the least safe, the least mental health safeguarding because you have men competing against women. And you're standing up here, Christy, Kirsty Burroughs. I don't know who this is. It's the head of safe sport unit. You should be fired immediately. They need a new head of safe sport. The Paris Olympics have been a shame since the start with the absolute disgrace that took place where they disgustingly mocked Christianity and the Last Supper making fun of Jesus and those who follow it. And even if you don't follow, even if you're an atheist at home, you should be upset about it because it's shameful to make fun of the beliefs of something that is considered sacred to most societies. But no, we'll do that. We'll have men and women's sports. We'll show ball sacks of a fucking guy in the damn uh, Olympic opening ceremony. You can see some nuts there. Yeah, let's have kids watching at home with drag queens. Let's do that. That's, that's real productive. That's a society going in the right direction. That's a failed society. I don't even want to listen to the rest of this because it's just going to get me really angry. Now, I want to show you more evidence of why this needs to be stopped right away. A female volleyball player was left paralyzed and brain damaged by a transgender athlete that shoved her down okay in a volleyball match now this transgender athlete was five foot eleven big dude right big person you want to call it a woman outside of sport okay but inside of sport we know the truth so now we have a girl left unconscious partially paralyzed with brain damage from competing against a man that's pushing it to the breaking point and you know what is also shameful that these damn scholarships these girls dream of from a young age competing at high level in sport is taken out of their hands by a person who says, no, I'm a woman now. I decided to be a woman. I believe that all sports should be based upon born sex, not, oh, I feel this way, so I'm going to compete there. The outfits you wear, the way you identify in social life should not, and for me, will not determine where you compete in sport. And I think there needs to be a great awakening that takes place to shift things in the right direction. Because right now we're going down a dangerous road. What happens when a female athlete is killed by a biological man? Is then that, is that change going to take place? Or is that fine? Oh, it happens. It's sports. It's dangerous. You sign up for the risk. Let me tell you something right now. You can get a woman, a born woman on, I don't care how much anabolic steroids, okay? Do one year of training in a sport against a guy of equal size and potential ability, not on steroids, fully natural, the man's going to dominate. So the transition from male to female and now in sport, after having gone through a male puberty, it's over with. And now, even if you haven't, there's already a proof of all things, okay? Bone developmental differences. If you don't believe in it, you're delirious, okay? One of the most significant differences between male and females is skeletal body size and bone size. Men are taller. Men are naturally stronger. Men have thicker bones. They actually have more connections to bones as well. And this is all fairness. This is all good. You can see a structural difference for those that, I don't know, maybe you're living in a fairy tale saying, no, AJ, you're wrong. And you see Ayman Khalif looks like, you know, the male structure, right, with the thicker shoulders, the bigger head, the long arms, versus Karini, who boxed earlier today, broader waist, more feminine and petite looking. How are they there to compete? How is it fair? How is this even possible? How did we get to this point? Do me a favor. I'm going to have a link in the description. 
a petition for this. I'm starting it. We need a million signatures. But if we can start with 100, that'd be fantastic. We got maybe five, six right now. But maybe when you're watching more, join in. I created this because I'm like, somebody's got to get behind it. I got a platform. Let me use it to my advantage. The atrocity of transgender athletes dominating women's sports has become overwhelming. The 2024 Olympics have allowed biological males to beat on and abuse women in boxing. As a society, it's time we stand up against this injustice. This petition is for the safety and sanctity of women's sports, true pro women. This is the only way to keep women's sports fair and give them equal opportunity to compete. Now, I'm proposing the ban of all transgender slash biological male athletes from women's sports. Little girls' dreams are being ripped apart as they watch these trans athletes dominate in every sport they dream of competing in. It must end now. Let's stand with women. Let's make women's sports fair again. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. Somebody needs to say it. This is Aimeen Khalif. You're meaning to tell me this is a woman? Yeah? Yeah? You, you're serious about that? Come on. Come on. Look at the jawlines. Thicker than my jawline. Look at the schnoz on it. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Wake up at home. Wake up at home and listen to the reality that we have. This is not fair. This is a biological male. This is a man competing against woman. There's two boxers at the Olympics that are biological males. It's not just Ayman Khalif who fought earlier today. Tomorrow morning, Lin Yu Ting is fighting another biological male. Both have failed the gender test. Why is this even allowed? How? 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 Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Now, the Algerian media is trying to say this is a big conspiracy. Why are we trying to out you? Why are we trying to take you out? We're not trying to take you out for personal reasons. We're trying to take you out for fairness of sport. This is unfair. And you can see Yu Ting Lin, who I actually think is more masculine than Ayman Khalif there, who's going to be fighting tomorrow. Okay? Lin's bronze medal was stripped. Uh, after an el eligibility criteria, the uproar in her camp. Good, they can have an uproar. It doesn't matter. Based on DNA tests, we identified a number of athletes who try to trick their colleagues into posing as women. According to the results of the test, it proved that they had X, Y chromosomes. Boom. There's no more conversation. X, Y chromosomes equals male. What else do you need to hear? Khalif had elevated testosterone levels. It's all been proven. It's all in front of your eyes. But no, we're going to continue to allow this. Trans athletes have been dominating in women's sports. It started, right? Leah Thomas was a mid-tier swimmer in men's swimming. Now, championship level. Transition, champion now. Six foot one. Yeah, competing against the girls. That's fair. Okay? Andrea Yearwood. Transgender student from Connecticut won first place in the girls' 100 and 200 meter dash. Yeah. Hannah Moosey, this one here blew my mind. A former men's handball player from Australia, now competing with the girls. That's all good. Jaya Seula, who labels herself as a third gender, which is present in Polynesian society. She's competing in the FIFA World Cup qualifier. This is fair. This is where we're at. Six foot two also. Six foot two. This is what we're doing. This is where we've gone. Stand against this now. Because it's only going to get worse. Pretty soon women's sport is not going to exist. It's going to be filled with biological males. Because that's the only shot. So it's essentially just men's sports with a little long hair and makeup on. And we're calling that women's sports now. That's where we're at in society. I think it's a shame. I think that we can immediately label this as blasphemy. And I feel like all of you watching this at home should think to yourselves, damn, I should sign that petition. I should say something to somebody, post something on Twitter. We need to get loud and stand against this. We cannot just be a silent majority. You need to be a loud majority because changes need to take place immediately. The Olympic Committee that has allowed this should be shamed should be scolded. I believe whoever's the head should be fired. 
Because this is not just a sport. This is fighting too. Sport in general is wrong, but fighting too. Death can take place. There's been deaths in boxing. These girls are working their ass off to get here. Angela Carini, I'm sorry. You deserve the fair shot at Olympic gold. You deserve the fair chance at competition. And I'm sorry that we have a society now that's so far from what is right that it's taking your dreams away. Guys, smash the like button to promote this video. I think you should share it too if you agree with what I'm saying. I'll have that petition linked in the description. We got to get some signatures on it because I really think that even though, you know, you can say my voice is decently large with about 35,000 subscribers at the time of posting this, still somebody's going to hear. And if the message can be spread to bigger platforms, I think that's even better because it's uh, time to stand against what's wrong and stand up for what's right. Fair women's sport, real equal opportunity for women. They should not have to compete against biological males. And tomorrow's fight with Lee Yung Ting is going to be shameful. It's at 9.30 in the morning. I'm pretty sure there's going to be tons of highlights from that coming out. We already had Khalif, who's a biological male, getting a first-round knockout. First-round knockout, landing some big strikes, some big punches on Carini, who's a hard-working Italian woman chasing her dream. It's going to be a tragedy tomorrow as well. So I'm hoping that things can change. I hope that we get pushed in the right direction. Enough of this crap. Stop standing for it. Start standing against it. And let's, uh, let's make women's sports fair again. Because right now, they're in a horrible place. This is the dark times of women's sports. If you're a feminist watching, you should be agreeing with me and stand up for your ladies. Because this is horrid. And I'm not standing for it. Guys, subscribe if you're new, if you like the vibe, if you like the honest takes. We cover a lot of MMA here. And we cover a lot of predictions and betting odds and different news. But this is a passion project for me. Because I have to stand for what I think is right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a blessed one. Peace out.